If you are like me, this set will bring back a lot of nostalgia. This is set number 40755, Imperial Dropship versus Rebel Scout Speeder, 383 pieces, and will retail for $40 here in the U.S. This set did release on October 1st, 2024. It has two amazing builds and then an exclusive 25th anniversary figure as well. The box is pretty cool. has the standard 25th anniversary box art. It has six figures, three Rebel Fleet, and three Stormtroopers. On the back, we do have some more uh, photos of the set. And just to keep it simple, we will put the box here in the back and start off with the first build being the Imperial Dropship. This one I do feel like is the worst Imperial Dropship out of the three we've had. We had a previous one back in 2019 for the 20th anniversary. Then we had one back in 2007, which I did have back in the day. It did have a um, four figures, three Stormtroopers, and a, another trooper that was, um, I think, a... Uh, I don't know the name of the trooper. <laughs> Y'all probably roast me in the comments for that, but I do not remember the name of the trooper. It was like a death trooper or something like that. Shadow trooper. Shadow trooper. Yes, that was very cool. So you do have three stickers on this set right here. One, two, and three. And then this, this area I think is the worst part of the set. I think the one in 2019 was done better, the little cockpit area. You can just fit one minifigure. He does have a little, uh, little, little display area, and then on the back you can adjust the wings, just a little bit. Just has some some give to it. I don't really like that. I wish it would more be more uh, just stable. But then you can basically push out. It's kind of hard with one with one hand, and then you do have room for two stormtroopers. The other ones had room for three, so it is kind of a down. It's bigger, but is kind of small at the same time. Um, so you can have that. And this is what the set looks without that. I do like the brown and the black and the gray and the blue color scheme. It makes it look really cool right here. But that is the Imperial Dropship. I would give this probably a six out of 10 for this part of the set. Now let's go on to the best part of the set which is the Rebel Scout Speeder. This thing is absolutely amazing. We did have the other version of this going against the Imperial Dropship back in the day. Look at that sticker right there and there and there as well. Three stickers, but we get these three amazing Rebel Scout Troopers. I wish they had the Rebel Friend one uh, with the red. That would be very cool, very nod to the old games as well, but we don't. You have some thrusters on the back. You do have a pretty big cannon right here and two stud shooters along the side. This is a very simple build, but a very cool build to have. And I'm just going to kind of give my final thoughts on this set. I really enjoyed the build. The build was simple. And, and a lot of people, uh, A-Falls especially, would be like, simple builds are not good. I really enjoyed because of how simple this build was. I got this thing done in like 10 minutes building it. It was just quick and easy, one and done type set. But it was a fun build. Like it was one of those builds where you're building it and you just kind of start building it on your own because you can just kind of figure out, hey, this piece is going to go here. And just kind of basically build it without the instructions type thing. It's just one of those just kind of easy, just, just a, an enjoyable build. I know some people might not have that same sentiment for the set. Um, it's not like, you know, a new UCS set where it's really intricate or stuff like that. It was just a fun build. And I haven't had that from LEGO Star Wars in a long time. I get that from the modular buildings. I know those are a little bit more in depth, but those are fun. This, I think, is one of the most fun LEGO Star Wars sets I have built in a long time. And I do think some of the other fans in the community might share that same idea. So if you do want to pick up this set, we don't know how long it's going to be on shelves. I would just anticipate it going out of stock by the end of the year. Could go into next year, but I would just go ahead and try to get this as soon as possible for the $40. Would make a great gift for somebody you know, great gift to yourself. If you want to buy yourself a gift, great gift for your significant other, brother, sister, whatever it may be. I think this is going to be down as one of the best sets, in my opinion, of 2024 for LEGO Star Wars. There has been a lot of not so good stuff in the year, some good stuff. Um, but I think for the 25th anniversary, besides the Imperial, 
and Imperial Star Destroyer. I think this is my number, basically that and this one are tied together for being my favorite set of the year. If you guys did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.